Today, Monday 18th, April 2016, will go down in the history of Uganda's oldest institution of higher learning as the day when Makerere University woke up to the regrettable incident of one of the university's staff that stripped naked, protesting her office relocation. Dr. Stella Nyanzi, a research fellow at the Makerere Institute of Social Research, was ordered by her boss, the Institute's director, Professor Mahmoud Mamdani, to relocate to the library, a thing that she contests. Mamdani is an oppressor! This created a brawl between the two that has resulted into the latest outrage. Among the options Stella Nyanzi had to express her anger was chaining herself after realizing that her office had been locked. We all bleed, we all bleed Mahmoud If Mahmoud thinks he's the most violent, we can all be violent. Students who had turned up for the opening lectures and staff that had reported for duty watched in shock. The media was swift and had the event broadcast live. It was all like a movie of some sort. And there is no blood running in my veins. I am going to fight this out. Mahmoud is going or I'm going. If he's going to stay with me, he must give me my office. Give me my office, Mahmoud Mamdani. You are a mere director. I am smearing the blood and the tears of all the suffering that Mamdani. The Vice Chancellor, Professor John Dumba Sentamu, arrived minutes later after watching the incident unfold live on NBS television, but his arrival did not change anything. No, until I know what is happening to my office. Stella, the until office. You know, no, no, no. Stop oppression, Bombani! Let me tell you. Bombani is an oppressor. I have no office. Stella, DVC, DVC not a letter. Did you see that email yes, that I'm handling the matter now. I'm handling the matter now. No, you are not. You are not. I'm handling the matter. I'm handling the matter. Dumba says the matter was being handled by the Deputy Vice Chancellor of Finance and Administration, Professor Banabas Nawanje, who had earlier instructed Professor Mamdani to stay Stella Nyanzi's eviction, though Mamdani acted otherwise. You see, she was evacuated from the office, actually. And DVC said, please stay the execution of that until management sorts out the problem. So as far as I'm concerned, the matter was handled on Friday. The Stella Nyanzi should have stayed in our office. But then I'm told, this morning actually I saw that on the NBS, and actually I had to rush to Miser to find out what is happening. So I put her down, and I told her that I'm going to sort out the problem, to settle the problem. So as far as we are concerned, money is concerned, Stella Nyanzi should stay in our office. The university, however, condemns the incident and will investigate the matter to a logical conclusion before making a final one. The act, we condemn the act of undressing. But Makerere University students present at the scene did not mince their words, siding with their nude lecturer and accusing Professor Mamdani of running the institute like his private business, which has affected the academic, support staff, as well as the students. Students are being victimized. Students who criticize Mamdani's leadership in Maiza are being victimized. I have a disciplinary case in Makerere because Mamdani is victimizing me because I criticized him. If uh, you're a student, you express uh, or you are somewhat in resistance to, 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 to the administration, okay? You are either victimized in terms of uh, you, Max, I mean, they can be deducted, or, you know, think those uh, sort of things like that. So, like, I came here, I eventually, I was told I've lost my scholarship. Uh, I was, I'm supposed to pay for myself. But when we came here, we realized that what he wrote and what he does are completely different things.
So he has, he reigns with fear. This is his biggest weapon. So even most people will be unable to speak because they're very fearful. But maybe some of us have been speaking for a long time and we no longer have anything else to lose. And one of, some of the main things that he has done is one, almost all the teachers have left, miser. They come and they leave. That has to be a question that has to be answered. Why are they leaving? Professor Edward Chirumira, the Dean College of Humanities and Social Sciences, says as a college, they are constituting a committee to investigate the matter. That you allow us, you allow the administration, you allow the college administration to deal with this situation in the best way we can. Songa Samuel Stone, Salman Namwanje, NBS, live at 9.